pear trees approaching Heat Pump Alley. Little mini boxwoods and then come around the corner and we're into the backyard. This way, you'll see that not very exciting on the bank. There's the other vista. We have willow -willow starting to bloom. Cosmopolitan, little hyacinths underneath this red maple tree. Just starting to get a few little leaves. And some sweet peas growing up that trellis. A little doggy one. Nothing happening on the Ornisposa, Santiomi, another Roto, and that is a magnolia in the pot, and we have a camellia blooming in the background. And then, yellow roses ahead for the summer, and tiny little purple things. I forget what they're called, but they're major spreaders and little tulips. Oh, there's a nice barbecue. And here are my dahlias. They're starting to come up. Looking good. And here is my little greenhouse that my mom gave me full of all my baby seeds. Very soon, I feel like there could be flowers on the petunias. Very exciting. And moving up. Okay, first I will show you. Oh, not very good light here. The other side of the pool. And then I was going to show you through the gate a beautiful little view. And you can kind of see the blue and white hyacinths with the daffodils and soon to be white green tulips. It's a pretty morning. I've got the marigolds in. They're growing, but no flowers yet. And we'll go up the stairs. It's always like looking this way. You can see the cherry tree is in bloom. And a broken pond needing a refurbishment. Looking towards the house. Again, the light's not very good from this angle. Onwards and upwards. Let's see if I can walk upstairs and film at the same time. Cute little bird houses. Alright. We call this volleyball field. And I did plant some tulips back there, but they're not up yet. They're supposed to be pink and yellow to coordinate with the cherry trees a little bit. All right. I hear a truck. I, we are getting dirt delivered. It's very interesting and exciting. They found free dirt. 
I will show you a picture of that in a minute. But there is my cute little peach trees that we've attempted to espalier. So they're coming along. And those are the real cherry trees. Maybe, any luck, we will have cherries this year. But the birds always seem to get them. They're tricky. There's a timing issue. A big hydro box that we attempted to do some sort of a plaster job, but it's starting to fail now. Man. This is newer bed construction over here. But thinking peaches and lilacs, those are lavender lavenders on this side. And then this will be a circular garden here. Thinking maybe that tree in the middle is gonna move. And there'll be a pond and we'll make this bigger and there'll be no grass in the middle, just a walkway around. And there's Furley. Say hi, Furley. <laughs> Blueberries. That's strawberries. That's today's job. I'm going to clean this bed out today. And coming back from the other side, my little kitchen garden that doesn't have much going. But I planted peas on that little pea fence and they're starting to poke up. So that's exciting. And then this is a new bed too. This is coming along. Looking down the hill. And there is the dirt we got delivered yesterday. We found a source of free dirt. And I want to fill in this bank, you can see. And I want to fill in this left side of this walkway. And the rest is going to go on the back of that slope behind, I call that my winter garden, or aka the heather garden. Okay, these are so cute. I'm just going to zoom in on them if I can. I love these daffodils. So cute. And I hope they are spreaders. And I think that's a little Arabis coming down the wall. And then it's a little sedum hedge coming up behind. But like I said, still lots to do in this area, but it's coming. It's only one years old, so that's not so bad. Better than last year. And I wanted to show you my Bob Hope camellia because it's really gorgeous. So this is going to be like reds and blues back here. There's a little euphorbia. We planted some red azaleas. And there is the maple. Coral bark maple in its glory. Happy, happy. It's a very bossy tree. Very hard to find things that go with it. And it's lots of green around it. Okay. Do -do -do. And the Brennera is blooming. Happy, happy. And coming up, that's a climbing hydrangea. Quite like it. It's got sort of like lime and green variegation on it. I just dug up another piece and put it on another rock wall area. And maybe I need it on that rock too. Okay, Bob Hope Camellia coming up. It is like the deepest, darkest, maroony red, cherry red color. It's stunning. Stunning. One of my absolute favorites. And this was a free tree. I almost gave it away because red's not my color for the garden. So I thought, and I was wrong. Okay. Coming around, 
I know I am trying not to get you seasick. And we've got bamboo, door to the basement. And here we have some astobes trying to poke out. More Brenna, Bleeding Hearts, Euphora. There will be some astilbies. I forget what this plant is called, but it's just a faithful little variegated evergreen. There's a the willow. There's some halobores. Orientalis at the back. You can see those. almost gave it away but quite like it came very scraggly and chopped it down and it's coming back so happy happy that was took about three or four years to get it to look this happy more climbing hydrangea this one's just the plain variety nothing too exciting but you can see it's got buds more hellebore dog shot and love 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 these yellow tulips they fade to pale orange and apricot and it looks stunning with this red maple red maples had a bad life too he's supposed to be a tall tree and he got some kind of disease so we cut it off and it's turning into a shrub so he would be a pain in the patootie to take out so I'm going to live with it for now. All right. We'll just look at the ocean again. Can you hear the sea lions? And the log boom is super busy. COVID has not affected the logging industry, I don't think. Yeah. So we have these um, heathers. And look at them. They look super cool. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Cute, hey? And I forget the variety of this. But they look quite good from a distance with the sunshine on them. Nandina, Foxwoods. And Berberus, and then there's Sedum Hedge, trying to make concentric circles. This garden is designed to be looked at from above. There's up there is my office and sewing room, and it's my family room and my kitchen. Okay, we're turning into bad view. I'm going to, um, how can I film this? I'll just walk up to the top of the hill fast and film from the other direction, maybe. Here's the not so good view. There's 10 year plan. A pond there, maybe. Maybe. Oh, another little roto blooming here. Called Black Knight, and they have purple foliage in the winter. And I had them all around the rose garden, and they mostly died, so they were a bad investment. I had to take them out and put boxwood in. Okay, now I just planted all these tulips this year, and they look pretty great if I do say so myself. Love, love, love. That makes me happy. You can see it from my kitchen window and it looks adorable. Okay, scanning, scanning. There's the Rose Island coming back to this kitchen view patio. Oh, I was going to show you this, Mom. This is cool. This maple tree looks like candy corn on the ends coming up to show you hang tight 
Look at it. No, it kind of looked like candy corn. That's interesting, hey? Peonies up, looking good. More yellow tulip. And I think we have a hosta in here. Hostas and things that aren't quite up yet. I'm not sure. This looks like a really empty spot in my garden. I'd have to think on that. And just removed a bunch of things in here too, so it's a little bit unfilled. Okay, let's quickly go look at the rose garden area. And then we are almost done with tour. That's it. These look really pretty too. Love the tulips with the black mondo grass. And there's some heather in the background still blooming. And we've got roses growing on either side. Coming along. This is what it looks like from this angle. tree is pretty much done too now. Okay. One more little jot and then we're done. That's this angle. Quite pretty angle. Oh, I planted these this year too. These are a euphorbia. I forget the variety of them, but they're blue and white variegated with sort of creamy white. And then there's a bunch of lavender in there, some purple dahlias, and some purple irises. So eventually this is just going to be purple and lime greens. I think it's going to look good. Just have to be patient. And coming around, looking at the more hellebores, they're just spreading like crazy. Look at that. Look at all those babies. Not sure what to do with that. And this bed hasn't been looked at yet. So lots of weeds. But we got a clematis growing up this tree. It's looking pretty happy. It's called Fair Rosamond, but there's nothing happening yet. Little Daphne. Blooming. Okay. okay. I'm going to turn around now and go from this angle. This, <clears throat> I'm going to have dark purple uh, tulips, and then there are these little daffodils blooming. But it's my favorite combination. This is a uh, anonymous. When it puts on its spring growth, it almost glows. It's so pretty. So I will update you with that later. As you can see. When the tulips are blooming. But there you go. That's your garden tour of the day. There we can see a few more of these daffodils. They're trying hard to bloom. Trying hard. Little heads are down. I'm excited for this bed too. I put in a whole bunch more things for summer. There's euchra, there's pasta in the back. Um, some uh, baby, some flocks, pink flocks. I think I put some echinacea in here too. So hopefully we'll have a little more interest in this garden in the winter, in the summer. And then there's the paniculata hydrangea. 
So there, can you see how that almost glows? That yellowness, emerald baby it's called. It's quite pretty. I like it. All right, signing off. 20 minute video. 20 minutes of your life, you'll never get back. Okay. Let's go look at the tulips one more time. One more time from this angle. Then I'll say goodbye. Coming around the corner. And along. Maybe a little shadowy from this angle. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Happy days. Have a good one.